Hi guys, this is Isis Priestess. So in this video I'm going to talk about the difference between altars and shrines and uh, you know, just so that people will know the difference. Uh, I probably have talked about this in, in a video on one of my previous channels, but I kind of want to put it on this channel. And um, so, you know, I just want you guys to know that um, if I've talked about this in another channel, I probably will add more things to it than I did in the other one. Alright, so what's the difference between altars and shrines? Well, altars, if you look at um, the meaning of the word altar, it means a high place. And typically altars were above the ground, they were high, and generally the structures that were a part of an altar were generally constructed by people, and they were high. And the purpose of it was to, and this is on my own personal belief, to elevate the offerings above the participants. Uh, also, I think it helped keep people from actually inhaling the smoke. Altars depend on what um, culture you're talking about. Uh, the Greeks, they actually um, had their altars outside. And it was, um, in my own personal opinion, to keep the, uh, the temple from becoming polluted. For the Greeks, the temple wasn't exactly a place to do sacrifices. It was more of a place to house the deity. And, um, sorry. And some even were uh, buildings that house uh, the wealth of the city and, and things like that. Um, I think the only exception to this rule was the Temple of Zeus at Olympa, Olympus, where the altar was actually inside, and it was actually um, ashes from previous uh, sacrifices. But altars in the uh, ancient sense were used to slaughter animals. Uh, there are some people out there that do still practice animal sacrifice. I don't, but just let you guys know there is. I know India does, and India is, um, there are certain parts of India that's been trying to get rid of that. Um, in a modern day context, uh, altars are used by people who practice Wicca or witchcraft or Hellenism or um, Nova Roma as a place where they give offerings and they burn incense and they pour libation and things like that. Um, of course, if you go to Greece or to Rome, not sorry, not Rome, but if you go to Greece or Italy, uh, you will see that the altars are a lot of times outside. I know Italy, they're generally, um, I know I watched this one video where it was actually outside of an apartment building where they were burning incense and they were pouring libations and, and all that type of stuff. I know this video very well because there was an umbrella involved. Um, for Hellenists, they generally will do their rituals outside, generally in a place that was sacred to that particular deity, and it continues the tradition of giving uh, libations and um, offerings uh, to the deity of their birth, or, you know, what part of uh, Greece they were born, born at, or a place where that deity was sacred. When we talk about Egyptian religion, we are talking about that an entirely different um, thing. During the reign of Akhenaten, the heretic pharaoh, it was not uncommon for hundreds of altars to be present and sacrifices, same thing, burnt offerings, was given to the Aten. Shrines uh, are different. Shrines are... Shrines could be considered the same as altars, but without the animal sacrifice. Shrines are places where you give offerings that are bloodless. Um, example, wine, water, milk, tea, food that's already been cooked, part of your meal. 
These are what we call bloodless sacrifices, and so shrines are used for that. Um, in modern day um, Egyptian practice, we have shrines to the deities, and we perform our bloodless sacrifices there. We offer incense, we pour libation, we offer what we what we're eating. Um, in the in Rome, there were household shrines to the gods. Same thing, bloodless sacrifice. So while an altar altar is great. Um, a lot of people prefer to use the term shrine, uh, but of course it all depends on what you're practicing. Um, I know people who practice Wicca, they say this is my Wiccan altar. Um, I say this is my Neo-Alexandrian shrine because I'm not sacrificing an animal and so I do not believe that I am, that I should have some, have an altar but a shrine is absolutely appropriate. So I hope that this has helped. Um, I'm going to do um, one more video and it's actually going to be a, a redone of a previous of a video that I did on Isis Priestess 1. Once again, a channel that I cannot access. So um, I will see you guys around. Hope you guys have a wonderful remainder of your week. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, once this video is over with, I will actually be doing another video on Monday, which of course is um, my back to basics. So um, I will see you guys around until next time. Blessed be.